and climate change. Earlier, we heard that stark message from the UN Secretary General about the devastating impact of global warming. He's called on the world's governments to stop subsidizing fossil fuels and take advantage of renewable energy. One key source is offshore wind turbines. And as part of our series, Climate Defenders, alongside the Climate Conference, Freya Cole has been to Denmark to meet an inventor at the heart of the wind industry. Wind, the invisible source of energy which now has the potential to change the world. The question used to be, we like it, but can we afford it? And now the question is, how can we afford not to? From a young age, Danish inventor Henrik Stiesdal knew more could be done to use a natural and free source of electricity. We have very few natural resources in Denmark, but one natural resource we do have is wind and a lot of it. created his first wind turbine at the age of 16. In 1991, he opened the world's first offshore wind farm, and his design for the modern wind turbine earned the title of the Danish concept. And that concept has shaped the wind industry for what it is today. It had three blades, it had the blades mounted on the front of the tower, and those years many turbines had the blades on the back side of the tower, and it had operation at different speeds to be as efficient as possible. And that all turned out to be uh, very useful in the early years of the industry. Can you see how big it is? It's, yeah. it's like impressive. His brain works in a completely different way. He understands a lot of the technology topics around it and, and the, the economics and the efficiency. And it's efficiency, which is Henrik's biggest motivation. One of the biggest blades that Henrik has helped design is 94 meters long. The blade is one seamless piece of fiberglass with no joins. While the blades have grown in size, the costs are shrinking. According to a new study by the Paris-based International Energy Agency, the costs are set to fall a further 60% by 2040. Every time these blades make a full rotation, this turbine generates enough power for the average European household for a day. So there's no denying the strength in wind energy. But for this industry to make a meaningful impact worldwide, there are still challenges to overcome. Around the world, the untapped potential of offshore wind is vast, especially when you move further from shore into deeper waters. The answer is floating wind turbines. According to the International Energy Agency, floating turbines could unlock enough potential to meet the world's total electricity demand 11 times over by 2040. Henrik is inventing a floating wind turbine which he says could be mass produced at a factory. He says it's a key to driving down costs to make it cheaper than fossil fuel competitors. So the real the trick of all of this is actually getting our products industrialized. The next hurdle for the industry is to capture all of the electricity so it doesn't go to waste when winds drop and work out the best way to feed it back to the grid. I'm putting in a lot of effort on developing storage systems, both for day-to-day -day storage and also for seasonal storage so you can store energy made when we have a lot of wind in the winter time to be used in the summertime. Henrik is optimistic. He has watched the industry develop from the impossible to the possible to a future reaching even greater heights. Freya Cole, BBC News.